And it's Ross, nah, Ross, nah, Ross, nah, Ross, nah, Ross, nah. Ross is reading time. And it's Ross, nah, Ross, nah, Ross, nah, Ross, nah. Ross is reading time. Hi again, this is Ross with Ross's Reading Time. And we are back. We are back to make it happen. You guys excited? I know that you are. Um, or at least I am. And if you're here, you know, maybe you might become excited again or something. Anyway, uh, so glad you're here. We are going to read another book, and it's in, you guys remember the Pout Pout Fish, right? Well, there's another book that kind of goes in line with that one. It's the Pout Pout Fish Goes to School. So, it's time for school, guys, and we're a couple months into school. Some of you guys are in school. Some of you guys are out of school. It's vacation, but the Pout Pout Fish Goes to School. So, here we go. A long time ago, when Mr. Fish was very small, he headed off to school for the first time of all. With a smooch from his parents and excited for his day, Mr. Fish rushed in. Then he lost his way. Oh my gosh. He's going to school and he lost his way. What's he going to do? The big fish around him knew exactly where to go, finding lockers, finding classes in a fast, smart flow. Look at these guys. They all know what they're doing. They're flowing to their classes, making it happen. Mr. Fish, left behind with his grin sinking thin, finally stopped at the doorway, and he shyly looked in. Look, he's looking in. What's he doing? He doesn't know if he's supposed to be there. The class was doing writing, and most everybody knew it. So he tried to print his name, but he just couldn't do it. He's trying to write, look, he's trying to write his name there. But he's kind of sad because he's not getting it. So he flub, flub, frowned, making blub, blub, blubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should forget it. He's kind of sad. He's kind of sad that he's kind of being like a pow powder, huh? He's a pow pow fish in school. So he floated with a frown down the long corridor. Then he sneak peeked a look through another room door. What's he see? Look at that. He's sneak peeking a look somewhere. What's he looking into? The class was drawing shapes, and most everybody knew it. So he tried to make a rhombus, but he just couldn't do it. Look, he's trying again. Tried his name, now he's trying to make a shape. So he flub flub frowned, making blub blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil, and he counted off his troubles. What are, his, what are they? What are his troubles? Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should forget it. He's kind of being sad. He's kind of being a pout powder, huh? He's just being woe is me, kind of like Eeyore, huh? He drifted down the hallway with a doubt, doubt face. Till he spied another doorway. Maybe this was his place. He's trying all these places. He's trying to figure it out. What's going to work for him? The class was doing math, and most everybody knew it. So he tried long division, but he just couldn't do it. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him on the side there. Do you guys see that? Do you see the picture? He's like trying to write with his mouth. It's like he's drooling on doing long division, but he couldn't do it. So a flub flub frown making blub blub blubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, what, what's four? Forget it!
He rushed toward the exit. That's enough, I say. School is way too tough, and I'm not going to stay. Then a soft, kind voice said, Don't you fret. You don't have to know things you haven't learned yet. Your classroom awaits. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Hewitt. I'm here to help you learn, and I know that you can do it. Look at her. What a sweet, what a sweet Mrs. Hewitt, with her kind green eyes telling her that she can do it, or that he can do it. You're a fish who is smart. With practice, you will get it. Young fish, you belong. Don't you ever forget it. Then the student and the teacher swam a splish, splash, swish to a door with a sign marked, Brand New Fish. Look, he's going to the door where he belongs. It's with a brand new fish because he had never been to school. Mrs. Hewitt said, Good morning. I'm excited you're all here. Together we will have a spectacular year. Fact one, you are smart. Fact two, you can get it. Fact three, you belong. So four, don't forget it. The class got to work and Mrs. Hewitt helped them through it. They listened, then they tried, and everyone could do it. Look at all them. They're the new fish and they're getting it. Look, at there he is. There's that face we all know who smiles. Mr. Fish gave a grin. Goodbye, Blub Bubbles. No more doubt, doubt, worry. No more flub, flub, troubles. He swam with his class, Mrs. Hewitt by his side. As the students and their teacher said with confidence and pride. Fact one, we are smart. Fact two, we can get it. Fact three, we belong. And four, we won't forget it. Look at all then. Kinder Guppy class reunion. They all got it. They are winners. That's who they are. What a cool story, huh? He was all worried that he couldn't find his classroom and he couldn't do it and he couldn't get it. But the fact was, he was new, and he just didn't know. He didn't know anything because he hadn't learned it yet. So that's one thing that we can all take, take into just a learning tool, is that sometimes we just need to learn something. We can't, we can't understand something if we haven't learned it. So what a cool story. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, until next time... Okay, let me buy. And it's Ross. Na, Ross. Na, Ross. Na, Ross. Na, Ross. Ross is reading time. And it's Ross. Na, Ross. Na, Ross. Na, Ross. Na, Ross. Na, Ross is reading time. <laughs>